Well, I'm Alison. I'm married to a GP and we used to live in Glasgow. And then two years ago, we moved to the countryside because we wanted a rural life and a slower pace of life. We moved with our three sons and our dog. <laughs> and three weeks after we moved, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And what's really scary is if we hadn't moved, I don't think I would have found it. In the old house, the bathroom mirror was kind of from the neck up. And in the new house, it was lower. And I never ever looked in a mirror as people generally don't. <laughs> Not in that way. Um, I just happened to see myself as I came out of the shower and there was a slight change in contour at the side and I knew immediately it wasn't right. Because of my friend having had the same sort of thing and my husband explaining at the time that the tumour pulls tissue in, I'd never read that anywhere and it was only because of remembering him saying that prompted me to think when I saw the same thing that that's what it was. But I've, I don't remember ever reading anywhere about indentations or changes in contour. Speed is of the essence, obviously, and something like that, because you don't. I didn't know how long it had been there. You just want it done there and then. And to be honest, I don't know how long I would have had to wait on the NHS. I would imagine a few weeks, although I don't know. But we just wanted it dealt with immediately. When I first was referred to the consultant, um, that was on a Tuesday, and I saw him on the NHS. And I then had the MRI scan in the MH NHS, but we decided to go privately, and this same consultant arranged that for me in, in BMI, yeah. Um, and then I was in the, the following Wednesday. It was just over a week. Very, very quick. <laughs> when I first came into Ross Hall, I was shown up to my room, made to feel at home, um, my details taken by the clerkess, and then I was visited by the anaesthetist and by the surgeon. And I think, I can't remember what time my operation was. It might have been 12 o'clock or something. Um, uh, before that I had to go down to ultrasound to get a scan and the wire put in and then I went back up to the ward I think and then into the anaesthetic room and had the procedure. It was a wide local excision which there were two small tumours and instead of taking each one out individually they just take a big chunk encompassing both of them. The take quality of care as a whole I would say the consultant radiologist who uh, performed an ultrasound and put a guide wire in, was so thoughtful, caring, thinking of me and not herself, worrying about what it would be like to have a wire sticking out and having to walk back up to the ward. She totally put herself in my position and was so sympathetic. The night at, that I stayed in after the operation, I had a drain in the wound because it was quite deep and there was some sort of pump arrangement <laughs> and the nurses had been told to take the pump away at midnight but to leave the drain in and at midnight I was kind of really dozy and everything and two nurses came in they didn't switch any lights on they had a tiny torch and they were whispering not to disturb me well you would never get that in the NHS <laughs> really it was just so considerate and they didn't know I was awake I mean it was only vaguely awake but it was it was just fantastic I expected it to be comfortable um, but I don't suppose I expected such a personal service in a way. So many people were involved at different stages and they were all very interested in the whole thing and made me feel extremely comfortable. Yeah, so I would say it actually exceeded any expectations I previously had. Mm -hmm.